And a check now on the Chinese economy. Our Guanxin sat down with Citigroup's global chief economist, Willem Betta, to get his insights on where Chinese growth goes from here. Dr. Betta says the property sector is the most alarming issue out of all the downside risks to China. Mr. Buiter, thank you for joining us. Latest economic data on Tuesday showed manufacturing activity in China shrugged off months of declines and returned to positive territory. In your opinion, is the economy stabilizing after a weak start of the year? Well, clearly, it, it's encouraging that the manufacturing PMI uh, looks a bit stronger. But I think this should not be overinterpreted as a uh, uh, return to, to robust growth. Uh, China is in the process of uh, changing its growth model, and that means that uh, continued. Uh, by Chinese standards, subdued growth is more likely than a material pickup. How do you see the downside risks of the economy? Will GDP growth dip further in the second quarter? Well, there is a significant downside risk of a cyclical uh, nature. All economies are cyclical. All the market economies in China is now a market economy. Are, are cyclical. So there will be slowdowns, and I think China is on the threshold of one. When exactly it will happen, no, I am not a, a, a soothsayer. I can't read uh, the entrails that, that well, but I'd be surprised if we didn't have uh, you know, a material correction in the construction sector, especially. Um, uh, by the end of this year or early next year. Well, the property market is seen as a big uncertainty for Chinese economy, and new home prices showed cooling signs in May. In your opinion, is it now a turning point for China's property market, and what repercussions will it have on Chinese economy? It looks that way, uh, right? Uh, certainly, uh, after shooting up, at least in the prime locations, when the bubble bursts and prices property prices, land prices fall significantly, there's an immediate wealth effect, right? and uh, there are um, effects on the funding of local authorities that use land sales mm -hmm. uh, you know, as a primary revenue uh, source, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it still works. And then, of course, uh, China is lucky that households have not borrowed very heavily against the rising property prices. So mortgages, household mortgages, are limited. Low to value ratios are low. So that's very different from traditional housing bubbles in Spain, in the US, and in the UK. But the corporates that developed you know, these houses, the construction companies, the, the real estate companies, the, uh, the developers, they are the ones that will uh, you know, suffer most because their um, uh, debt you know, to income ratios, debt to, uh, to equity ratios are, are massive.